Hey guys, Doc J here. I'm a doctor in the Philippines, isang doctor sa Pilipinas. I'm a surgeon in training and I'm also a YouTuber. So I usually post mga corny videos, mga dramatic videos. Um, but I'm taking a break to tell you about an advocacy that I have that I think is very relevant for our time. So recently, there's been a lot of talk about the possibility or the necessity of getting a COVID booster shot. So booster means basically, aside from your usual na two-dose vaccine, you're gonna get one more dose so as to provide extra protection or to provide longer-lasting protection. And in theory, it makes sense because the antibodies provided by the COVID vaccine um, don't last forever and it's true that the virus keeps mutating. And because of that, in other countries, they've actually had programs to provide their citizens with COVID booster shots. That's why in our country, a lot of people are asking about it, um, especially yung mga taong na fully vaccinate na, but they want extra protection, maybe because matanda na sila, or they have comorbids, or kinakabahan lang talaga sila kasi may pamilya sila, ayaw nilang ipahamak. Um, but of course, the big issue is, in our country, majority of the people are still not yet vaccinated. So in the DOH um, website, it shows na 22 million pa lang or 22% pa lang ng bansa natin yung vaccinated. So the vast majority of our countrymen are still not vaccinated. Kaya may ethical concern. That's why the policymakers and the top scientists and the decision makers are still not yet um, convinced that it is needed. So yung mga tao sa IATF, sa DOH, sa mga medical societies and the government, they're still not yet recommending that people should get a booster dose. In fact, illegal nga na mag a booster dose. So what can we do? Totoo naman yung concern ng mga tao na baka hindi lifelong yung protection and even yung mga tao who think they've received an inferior vaccine. Plus yung mga tao na hindi pa vaccinated na malayo pa sila sa pila and gusto nila na magkaroon ng protection kahit papano while waiting for the COVID vaccine. So actually, I have good news for you guys. There is a way to get protected from COVID and it's sort of similar to a booster shot. Okay? So, it's the big secret that the government does not want you to know about. The joke lang. Hindi tayo ganun. But yes, as the title of the video says, there is a way to get a COVID vaccine booster uh, legally, ethically, and in most cases, for free. So, ano yun? There, there are actually two ways. The first one is something na alam na natin lahat. Baka nasa back of our minds lang. Di lang natin, di lang natin, nakalimutan lang natin siya. So, ano yun? The first one is the flu shot. <coughs> So naalala nyo ba nung mga bata tayo uh, when we visit our pedia or nung medyo tumanda na tayo when we go to our family doctors or maybe sa school or maybe sa workplace, ang um, ipapaalala yan that we should yearly get our flu shot or the influenza vaccine. So teka lang Kuya J, bakit influenza vaccine? Eh diba that protects against influenza virus and the COVID vaccine protects against coronavirus or the COVID-19 disease. Well, totoo, but studies show that the influenza vaccine or the flu shot provides cross-protectivity against coronavirus. So, why? Because a lot of the pathophysiology and the symptomatology are the same. Um, fevers, uh, difficulty breathing, cough, colds, body pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. So a lot of it are the same, kumbaga magkamukha sila. You can mistake COVID for, uh, for the flu and vice versa. So that's the first way. And you'll be surprised, a lot of doctors, even doctors, they know about the flu shot, pero nalimutan nila na option yun. Um, kasi nga yearly naman tong binibigay, yearly na rin recommend So nakakalimutan natin kasi laging nandyan lang. Diba? Ako nga, in my experience, in the past 10 years, siguro kalahati lang dun yung mga taon na nagpa-vaccine ako. Dahil busy ako or dahil nakalimutan ko lang siya. Pero ngayong time ng COVID, it's especially important to get the flu shot. Not just for the cross-protectivity against COVID, but so that when we have flu-like symptoms, ma-rule out na natin yung flu. Just the other day, I visited a fellow doctor na yung both parents niya na-admit for COVID. And nung binisita ko siya, ang tanong niya sa akin, Jay, anong balita sa COVID booster? sa PGH because that's the hospital I work at. Sabi niya may possibility ba na mag-provide yung government for us and for our families ng booster shot kasi kinakabahan ako sa parents ko kasi matanda na sila, may mga sakit. Baka hindi mag-last yung protection from the COVID vaccine that they've already had. Tinanong ko siya, bro, nagpa-flu shot na ba this year yung parents mo? And sabi niya, hindi pa. And tinanong ko siya, sabi ko, nagpa-pneumococcal vaccine na ba sila this year? And sabi niya, hindi pa. So sabi ko, um, before thinking about a COVID booster dose, why not ipavaccine muna sila against the flu and against pneumonia? 
two diseases na very similar to COVID and that are both killers as well. Sabi niya, o nga, no? So, yun yung segue to the second secret, which is the pneumococcal vaccine, or the PCV, PPV, or the vaccine against pneumonia. Um, so, the pneumococcal vaccine protects against the streptococcus pneumoniae bacteria. Uh, so, bacteria naman to, which causes the common uh, pneumonia or the community-acquired pneumonia. The caveat is, DOH only recommends this vaccine for mga people 60, year old, 60 years old and above, mga senior citizens, kasi sila yung pinaka at risk na magka pneumonia. So actually, yung mga seniors na nagkaka-COVID, a lot of them, on top of the COVID pneumonia, they also get bacterial pneumonia or the community-acquired pneumonia. So it only makes sense that they get um, pneumococcal vaccine. And hindi ito yearly, kasi hindi naman ganun kabilis mag-mutate yung bacteria. So yun, those are the two secrets. And the best part is, not only are they legal, and in fact, ini-encourage naman talaga yung mga tao na magpa-flu shot and yung mga senior citizens na magpa-pneumococcal vaccine. And the best part is, it's free! According to the law, the local health centers should provide these vaccines for free. And kung wala man sa local health center, you could, most of the time, you can get them for cheap sa mga local pedya nyo or sa mga local family doctors niyo. So yun yung dalawang secret ko, and I've been talking about this for a while now, I've been advocating it na aside from our COVID efforts, we should encourage everyone to get their yearly flu shot. So, tanongin kita, nagpa-flu shot ka na ba this year? Yung mga, yung mga parents mong 60 years old and above, nagpa-flu shot na ba sila this year? Nagpa-pneumococcal vaccine na ba sila? If hindi pa, baka it's time. Diba? And yung mga taong naghihintay pa for the COVID vaccine, baka pwedeng magpa-flu shot muna kayo. Walang pila yun, walang scarcity, hindi siya limited supply, and it's cheap or most of the time free. Uh, so yun lang, I'll put the references down in the description below. And kung may mga tanong kayo, mga practical questions or mga theoretical questions, kahit ano, tanongin nyo lang. Give this video a like and share it to your friends who may need to hear this. So again, this is just a quick video and thank you.